Hey everybody, Div really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Nor 9 Var Commons. And today we are still going through the extras. We're going through the second half of the gallery. We went through the first half in the last episode. And um, the gallery pictures, they all have, uh, well not all of them, but most of them have little text bubbles that you can click on, read what they were thinking during the scenes. So we're going to go through the rest of those today. So you can just sit back, relax, and let me read you some text bubbles <laughs> and look through the gallery. And now for Itsuki. This was when, you know, this was near the beginning. I think he was actually going to show her a dream here. At some, and I don't really know why he would choose that moment to do that, but I think he was going to, but then something she said changed his mind. Deadening one of the senses will heighten the remaining ones. Oh, that's what he was thinking. Oh, what a delicate little hand. These tiny hands were trying to protect everybody. You should be sure to take it easy sometimes. That is the tree that almost fell on me. That's what she was thinking during this? You gotta be kidding me. A guy's doing this to you and you're thinking that? What's wrong? Are you confused? Tell me and I can walk you through this. It's important to take time to relax like this when someone works as hard as you do. I had never played a card game before, but I have to say it was pretty fun. I loved that. I loved the dream sequence with him. <laughs> and the other part of the dream sequence, when he took her to his dream instead. <laughs> Until Sakuya showed up with his axe. And my axe. Hmm? Do you want to feel my skin? Feel free to enjoy caressing my body anytime. <laughs> Frolicking in a hot spring with the touch of a gentle maiden's skin is definitely one of those things that make you appreciate life. This is unbelievable! You are just doing this for your own personal enjoyment! Look how happy he is, it's so cute! And I think this was kind of the this was kind of the turning point in their relationship in the game, where she kind of starts to give in to him a little more. Oh, I never had anyone I wanted to send a letter to. I never even had any desire to write. Seeing you like this, Makes me feel like you finally accepted me. Well, I'm really glad that you accept me now, since you pushed me away before. You are such a meddler, lying to yourself, hoping that it will bring others happiness. You are not being selfless, you are being selfish. No, he was trying to be selfless. Ah. <sighs> Honestly, I do think I enjoyed this view more than the Natsuiko view. <laughs> but, you know, it could just be the angle. And this was in that dream when, uh, they had both been injured, but Itsuki was injured more badly, and so he was, he kept Mikoto in this dream with him for a while. And they were in this tiny house together with a tiny little bed, and they had to, like, hold on to each other in order to fit in the bed, which is so cute! But then there was that moment when he disappeared. He kind of flickered in the dream. And this was after they woke up from that dream. Itsuki looks so good with his hair down. I mean, I like him better with his I like it better with his hair up, but he looked so good with his hair down in that dream when he was uh he looked like Sakuya and then you saw the real him. You were gravely injured, but you still worried about others and tried to play it cool by using your power. How idiotic. Being wakened by you makes me a lucky guy. But that lucky guy is the one who's making you so sad. I put you inside that dream so you wouldn't have to suffer. I don't know why, but I feel really relieved. And this was uh, when they were running away together. Oh, all of Itsuki's pictures are so beautiful. I used to be annoyed by the way you would find any small reason to drape yourself all over me. But now, just feeling your warmth is soothing for me. Feeling you so close multiplies my love towards you, and I feel like all my pain is leaving my body. You protected many people, but from today onward, 
You'll live life as a normal girl. I will be your guardian. And that was their good ending when they were in the city together. Wearing their alternate clothes. I like you. I love you. I cherish you. <laughs> there are no words of love that can fully describe my joy. Everything does not go perfectly like it did in the dream, but I still love it. You'll be with me forever. I've never felt this happy before. Ah, and that was Itsuki's super sad bad ending. Where he died. And Dream Itsuki took over because... Oh man, that was so sad. I hated that so much. Wait, I gotta go through this again without the the tag at the bottom. It was just too, too sad. And this was just a picture of that letter that he wrote for her. And this was from their extra. I think this was my favorite picture out of all the extras, too. I wasn't crazy about a lot of the extra pictures. But I really like this one. Alright, now... To do, do Akito. When he rescued Nanami from falling off the Norn. And this was after um, they had both been in those handcuffs and he was trying to resist as long as he could, but she finally came and reattached the handcuffs so he would stop being shocked. When my handcuffs started beeping, I was told that it sounded like someone was calling me. This is nothing. Don't you worry about me. You weren't electrocuted, but I know that my words must have stung and shocked you. <laughs> During the dream, when she was Little Red Riding Hood and he was the Big Bad Wolf. Even if you're asleep, what the heck are you thinking just jumping on a man like that? You were so fluffy. It felt great. It's poking at my neck. I never wear anything with fur, so I doubt I'll get used to this. Poking at his neck? And I think this was like after she had been talking about how she wanted to die. And she would have been prepared for him to kill her. And he's like, no, don't ever say that again. I didn't see her face that day, but I could tell from your voice that you were in pain. Why are you touching me? Why don't you resist or push me away? I, I always hurt you. Even when I don't intend to, I still end up doing it. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, I loved Akito's story. But I can't remember what happened at this moment. It was a good moment too, I just can't remember what it was. And this was when um, Akito had already had talked to Senri about his uh, that they were brothers. And I think the blue light means this was the, the version of this scene where Nanami erased Senri's memories again. And this is the, the version of it where she didn't erase his memories, which led to the true good ending for him. <laughs> and this is pretty self-explanatory. Because you just did that out of the blue, it was really, really embarrassing for me. Your tears are really beautiful. Are... are you shivering? I'm sorry that I got you all worried about me. Oh no, this was when he was protecting her. Okay. You're always worried about me. I'm sorry for making you worry so much. Just feeling you makes me stronger. Sometimes, I can't trust you when you tell me that you're fine. And this was uh, his good ending when they went back in the past thing and he was almost regressing but then she helped pull him out of it. I think that that was the good version, right? It's fine. I can finally accept reality, thanks to you. I'm really glad that you were with me. Akito always said that he loves me, but I couldn't say those words until now. You might think this was unmanly, 
But I was holding back tears of joy when you told me that you loved me. <laughs> I love when the girls are like a little bit aggressive and the guys are like all shocked about it. <laughs> oh, why don't we get some dialogue for this? And this was during his truly good ending here. Where Senri kept his memory, so now they can actually be genuinely brothers again. I can't believe things can be this way with Senri again. I can never thank you enough. We can never return the time you two lost, but we can make up for it any time. Hey, stop poking me. I know how you feel already. Stop doing that. <laughs> poking him? Who's poking him? He doesn't look like he's being poked. And that was his bad ending, where uh, he stayed in regression in the past thing, and Nanami decided to stay with him. Yeah, and this was his extra, whoops. And this was his, his extra, where he learned how to cook this special thing just for her. Which was so cute. And here's Ron's gallery. This is one of my favorite things about- I mean, I love Ron as a Yandere character, but also the fact that he's so tall. I love tall guys. You are such a fake person. My first impression about you was completely wrong. Taking something precious of mine. <laughs> I'd like to see what a girl like you could try to take from me. What a tiny, delicate arm. It would take so little effort to snap it into pieces. If you want to be able to use your arms, you'd better do what I tell you. Let's see what he was thinking during this. You should know by now that resisting in this situation like this will just excite me. Looking at him like this makes me realize just what a terrible person he is. How oh, could someone with such small hands ever hope to escape my grasp? Please show me if you can even do that without using your power and killing me. This scene was so cute and sweet though. <laughs> I came to wake you up, but instead we slept. You're curious about my eyes. I can tell you all about my eyes, so long as you are willing to be mine. That's rare for you trying to touch me. It tickles, but I like it. You used to resist me so strongly, but well, now you're letting me hold your hand. Well, this must mean that you've given in and accepted me. You told me I smiled differently, but you have a different look on your face as well. I shouldn't have worried about you that time, but you would have been captured if I told the truth. Come closer. I can't taste you if you don't come closer, because you're so small. If you wanted to live an honest life, then why don't you use your power and get away from me? Why would you do something that attracts my attention? You're a liar. You told me you won't do anything, but once again, I don't hate it. That was when they were leaving the Norn. That's a really good picture. And this is when she stopped him. Can I really change after losing the memory? I don't know for certain, but I knew that was the only way I could ever really be with you. You don't remember the last words we shared, but they will live on in my memory forever. I know you hesitated until the last second. 
But I know you'll be back. I know that a person who could even love a scumbag like me will fulfill my wishes. Yeah, that was the good ending when uh, she erased his memories and they were living together in a little house. It's so sweet. Oh, what do you love about me? Oh, what makes you happy? Tell me more about you, because I want to know everything about you. I was happy when you called my name. You didn't call me by it much before you lost your memory, but the same goes for me as well. There's a lot I want you to teach me. Like the contours of your body, your warmth, when I can kiss you and when I can't. Oh, that is so sweet. I love hearing Ron's thoughts. Ron's thoughts are kind of... a little unexpected to me. And this was his bad ending where, uh... Or one of his bad endings. This was his tragic ending, where she erased his memory, but it turns out that he is a psychopath in the, uh... genetic sense, so... Even taking away his memories doesn't take away his urge to kill. I guess maybe he had a certain amount of memory and wanted to die because he didn't want to hurt her. But they had that was a horrible ending because she killed herself after she killed him. And this was his well, either a bad ending or a tragic ending, I don't know. But this is the ending where um he she went with him and but he doesn't really love her, love her. Like, he just kind of uses her to do his bidding, uses her to erase people's memories for his own purposes. And this was their extra. Oops. Where they tried to do good, but Ron totally ruined everything. And Heishi's gallery. This was when Heishi came and woke her up, and got to see her bedhead. I never felt anything at all about him, when he'd pet my head, or even when he saw me sleeping. Your hair feels so good. I want to feel it more. Can I touch it one more time? I woke you up so I could see you as soon as possible. You totally look more dazed when you're waking up. Because she always looks dazed, but then she looks more dazed when she's waking up. I'm almost done, so hang in there. I'm pretty good at this, right? I love this picture of Heishi. This is my favorite picture of him. I was worried because you looked like something was going wrong. Hearing his flute for the first time, I felt as if the rooftop was an entirely different place. Nanami's happy smile. It's weird. This is this is Heishi's gallery, but it's just a picture of Nanami. Oh, this was when um Heishi was telling showing her what love feels like. Um and yet for some reason she didn't understand that it was his feelings for her. He said it was an example, but it's like if this was an example, obviously he was feeling it. He couldn't just make up the feelings. I probably look really pathetic right now. Damn it. I didn't want to show my uncool side. You know how I feel for you, right? I'll never forget that feeling when I told Heishi that I love him. And this was when uh, Nanami erased Heishi's memory of that moment because Natsuiko showed up and they said if she didn't erase his memory then they would kill him. Actually, was this when they said they loved each other before his memory got erased? I don't remember. What? I can't cry. Sometimes I want to cry too. I didn't want to see you with that look on your face. Why can't things go the way I planned? I just love you. I was trying to hold my feelings toward Heishi inside that day. I love this picture! <laughs> but look at Heishi all mad there. Actually, Itsuki doesn't look too happy either. Senri never looks happy, and Akito just tends to be sorely like that too. <laughs> Kakadu's the only one that looks happy. I do kind of like Heishi looking disgruntled a little bit there. Oh, this is such a good picture! 
This was when the girls were stuck in the dining room for a little while because of the power outage. I always thought about Heishi when we split apart. That's why I couldn't believe that I was able to hear his voice again. You're crying, but I want to hug you. We're this close, but we can't touch. Are we feeling the same frustrations? I don't want to see you cry, suffer, or be in pain. Aww. I couldn't see myself with you until you called my name. I want to hold you more. I don't want to leave you. I knew that Heishi cared and was trying to protect me. Oh, I love this picture. This was their end, their good ending. A beautiful blue sky, a big green field, and Heishi's flute. It was soothing. I'm free. You're next to me, and you always smile for me. I'm really a lucky man. Why don't we save up some money and buy an extra flute, and we'll play together. Even if you're bad at it, I'll keep teaching you. What do you think? And this was the end of their good ending, uh, where they were traveling around taking pictures for some rich guy. And this was their bad ending, where Heishi went psycho. Uncharacteristically. And this was their extra, when Heishi taught her how to play the bottles. Okay, and now all that's left is the extras, which are just these three pictures. Which was in the beginning, Koharu, when she uh, met Suzuhara. And when they first boarded the Norn and were attacked by <laughs> Akito and Kakeru because they didn't know what was going on. Poor, poor Suzuhara, man, look at him. He's just a little boy. They didn't need to go all out like this. And then this was the true ending with Sorata and Ion. Sorata looks so cute there. And that's, uh, I think that's like the original Sorata's ghost hand. Now I really, really, really want to play the sequels because I want to see stuff- I'm sure it's gonna involve stuff with Suzuhara and he's gonna try to rebuild Ion or fix her or something. And I really want to see that stuff happen. Alright, well in the next episode we are going to go through the Norn Ensemble thing, which is where we go through these keywords. Alright, we push the square button and we play their text. So um, I'm gonna go through this and let the text play for all of these. So yeah, tune in for that if you'd like to hear those. Um, I won't be talking much during that one because I'm just going to let those those text things play out just so you can hear their voices expressing all of those. <sighs> well, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye bye everybody.